to make sure that our staff who serve the vulnerable population are also safe and they're able to provide services safely, we need to engage with, with um, all actors to the conflict. My name is Essie Opoka. I work for International Rescue Committee as a training and capacity specialist for uh, humanitarian action. I provide support to different IRC country programs in this field. I've been a frontline negotiator for over 10 years and um, a lot of things uh, have changed and a lot of things are still changing. The, the dynamics is changing very quickly. There are several armed actors that are coming up. This is the area that I feel, you know, humanitarian community need to look into more engaging with them to, to make them understand us better, understand our principles, and understand that, you know, we're there to serve the most vulnerable population. When I was a frontline negotiator, it was actually uh, very different when I just started uh, my role in negotiating. Um, I wasn't trained then and I was doing a lot of humanitarian negotiation, you know, in an unstructured manner, but still I was doing it. It was really very difficult because, first of all, I thought it was wrong, you know, to engage to the actors to the conflict. It was until when I was trained, you know, by CCHN in 2019, then I said, okay, I think I can go and first is head on. To make sure that our staff who serve the vulnerable population are also safe and they're able to provide services safely, we need to engage with, with um, all actors to the conflict, including the non-state armed groups and other armed um, actors. Because at the end of the day, um, we, our mandate is to be able to provide the services to the vulnerable population. For me, I've used a lot of the CCHN tools in, in my negotiation, in, in my support to the teams, and you know, it, it's made life so easy. Unless you understand the people who um, influence access to those areas, it is not possible to reach uh, the people in need. So um, this is how I've been able to transform from you know, the previous way of negotiating and now I feel, you know, it's totally different because I understand better, I know who to talk to and what approach to use and so that I'm able to reach the, the most vulnerable population that we have. I, I told you I, I was doing a lot of humanitarian negotiation for several years in very unstructured manner uh, because I didn't have the skills. So after being trained by CCHN, I feel very confident and I can say now I, I can negotiate, you know, confidently and very effectively. I realized that I found a family where we could um, talk together, you know, share the challenges. It's a safe space where, you know, you realize you are not alone in it. Um, other people are facing the same challenges and then you're able to craft the solutions together. And this is something that I really um, appreciate uh, CCN for. And it was from the skills that I gained, you know, that uh, we formed what we call the, the joint operating procedure um, as a humanitarian community. And we decided to come up with a position paper explaining who we are, what we do as a um, humanitarian community. It took us, you know, almost two years to make the authorities understand that it is our role to be able to engage with all the actors to the conflict and um, we're there to provide humanitarian services, not to interfere with the governance or the, the leadership um, of the country. And it was from there that I was able to start engaging with the different actors to the conflict. And we, you know, we were able to reach more population, we we're able to expand our operation, and we build that acceptance um, by the different actors as well as the people that we served in that area.